Hey guys, this is Tonner, and today we're going to be talking about Marvel Snap and everything that we know so far. And I am incredibly excited about this game. Honestly, it just looks like I love Hearthstone. I love like the Pokemon trading card game and all those kinds of games. But I always find that it's difficult to play them around my kids because, you know, they need stuff all the time. And, uh, and honestly, I find that I sit around waiting for my enemies to take a turn for quite a while. But this kind of addresses both of those problems and it addresses the fact that those games aren't marvel <laughs> um you guys know i absolutely love marvel i love certain characters more than other ones um but i i am incredibly excited for this because it looks like it kind of covers everything that i want out of a card game so it's being made by Ben Brode and the team over from Second Dinner, who are apparently a lot of people who moved over from Hearthstone. I know Ben Brode was like one of the lead devs of Hearthstone for quite a while, and watching him talk about this game and the way he used to talk about Hearthstone while he was working on it, I know that they're putting a lot of love into this because oh, it's amazing. Like, it's just incredible the work that they've done so far. So there's a global launch confirmed. I think that's an important thing because I know a lot of these kind of games potentially don't end up getting global launch. They like sit over in a region that's not necessarily where you're going to be able to play. So it's good to have that kind of com confirmation straight from the start. There, it's only going to be mobile to begin with, but they said a PC version coming with the global launch. Hopefully they're working towards getting it with the global launch. It might come a little bit after that. Who knows? But at the moment, that's where they're aiming for. The good thing is that you also play simultaneously. So you'll play a card, your enemy will play a card, boom, then they both play at the same time, which I think that that's really interesting instead of having to kind of sit there, play a card, and then wait for your enemy to have their turn, and it ends up kind of taking forever, and they end up waiting until the end of their turn to kind of be able to play it. Um, this looks really good because it looks like you kind of play them both at the same time and then boom. It's also only really fast. Like there's only six turns in a game. They're about three minutes long. It's really, <laughs> really, really quick. Now you've got 12 cards in your deck with the Web Warriors being like one of the factions. You've got X-Men being a faction and stuff like that. You've got a lot of different kind of factions there, but um, I don't know if they have anything to do with gameplay. They didn't actually mention that, but uh, I know that they've got kind of things that you can kind of synergize together. You can get characters that buff up characters in your hand and then they get to like clone themselves and stuff like that. And you can see some of the cards already, like Professor X, Claw, Battle C uh, Black Cat, uh, like the Citizen six there's a lot of really cool cards here there's also art variants as well so you'll notice there's like different art styles the 8-bit one i think is my favorite so far but if you guys are more into this kind of stuff there's, there's lots of different options that you've got here for art variants as far as i can tell the cards are all do the same stuff they just look slightly different and there's 150 plus base cards on launch now, every card can also be collected free-to-play. They didn't say how they're going to be collected free-to-play yet, but um, I think that's a good thing because it means that, like, for example, when Hearthstone came out, um, there was, like, the adventures and stuff that you had to end up kind of progressing through to be able to get it, and you had to purchase them as well. And this looks like it's going to skip over that. You're just get able to get all the cards for free, which I think is massive. It's something that Legends of Runeterra does, which is amazing. So I'm really happy about that. And for like the post-launch stuff, it looks like they're going to be adding new cards, new characters every month. So it's going to be continuously kind of uh, supported, which is really good. Um, I know that one thing that I'm not a huge fan of in Hearthstone is that they had like a huge break between content. So it's like they bring out like expansions, which are amazing, but it also kind of floods you and adds in a whole lot of stuff at the same time. And uh, you also need to collect, collect the packs and RNG them and stuff like that. While this here, you don't have to worry about that because there's new cards every month, so you kind of can slowly collect them rather than kind of getting this huge bang out of cards coming at the same time. That you can also upgrade the look of cards from what they kind of showed a little bit, like there's frame breaks where they start out within their card and then you upgrade them with a frame break and boom, they're kind of out and um, you've got kind of them exceeding out through the cards and stuff to make them kind of look a bit more advanced. There's also 3D effect cards, which are really cool. Like when you, you've got the card there and then when you shift it, it kind of like shifts the picture and stuff. Kind of like a shadow box. Uh, and then there's also character voice lines. So like when you play the thing, for example, he comes out and he says it's clobbering time, which is just really cool. I really like that as well. All right. 
Now, there's going to be a season pass and missions. So, um, I'm not sure entirely how much of it's going to be free to play, how much of it's going to be stuff that you're going to be wanting to purchase. But look at the free to play stuff here on the side. You get some gold, you get a Colossus, you get a Colossus picture, I think that is. I'm not sure. Um, which I don't know how much it's going to kind of be worth to kind of be free to play or anything like that. They didn't really go into it. It's actually just a picture that I found uh, within their video. So uh, there will be a season pass and there will be kind of character uh, missions to kind of go alongside that season pass to assumedly rank up the season pass and get like the rewards from there. And I think there's going to be multiple deck slots as well. They've got like down here, you can see they've got like a doomsday deck here and it's got like a picture there where you can swap it. So I assume that you're able to kind of switch between your decks, make up multiple decks and play whichever one you feel like at the time. All right. Uh, different cards also have different effects. So you can see here the Hawkeye one, if you play a card here next turn, so at that location, you get plus two power to it. Or the Yondu one, it removes the top card of your opponent's deck. So obviously there's 12 turns, but... Um you only get like six cards, uh, sorry, there's six turns, but you have 12 cards. So uh, it's not like it completely screws you out of a turn or anything like that. But it's interesting because you could play it turn one and then be able to see what your enemy's playing, what kind of deck they're running and stuff. If they're running like cards like Hawkeye and stuff that buff up other characters, or if they're running something that like deals a whole lot of damage, like Electra and removes enemy cards or something, then it gives you kind of a, a little bit of insight as to what the enemy is running as well. So in the game, there's going to be three locations and each of them will have a different ability. There's one revealed at the start and then one revealed each turn after. So you can see here the Avengers compound on turn five, all cards have to be played there. However, the Wakandan em Embassy, when you give plus two power to cards in your player's hand. It also looks like there's going to be like featured locations, whether that's per week or what, I'm not sure, but there's one like here for Atlantis and it says featured location appears more often today. So that's interesting. Like you get to kind of learn a bit about the locations. I assume when they add new ones in, they'll kind of make them featured so you can kind of see them a bit more often. Who knows? Maybe it's just something to kind of change up the gameplay every once in a while. So you need to control two of the three locations to win, which means you need to have more power here. So you can see here, this guy's got Yondu here too. So that means there will be two power there. So it's basically trying to have more power out there than the enemies have, making sure that you have um, like play into whatever the abilities are on the locations. Uh, there's somewhere like you can only play one character there. There's somewhere uh, the characters that are played there can only be certain character costs and stuff like that which I think is really cool. I think it's a really unique kind of way to be able to kind of play like an area control mixed with like a card battler. Ranked is competing over these cosmic cubes, which is where the name uh, Marvel Snap comes from. If you win, you gain your cosmic cubes. If you lose them, then you lose the cosmic cubes. It's kind of like being able to see your ELO directly from what I can gather. So you can see exactly how many cosmic cubes you can have. You can see how many you win or lose. So that way you can kind of, it's kind of competing directly over that. But there's kind of unique mechanics about this, which is really cool. So first of all, they're doubled at the end of turn six. So if you get to that, <laughs> if you get to that final round, the very end of the game, then boom, they get doubled. So if you play out the whole game, then they're doubled and it's kind of like extras on the line because only you or your opponent can obviously win them. So you're competing directly against them. But players can also bet on themselves by snapping and doubling the cosmic cubes on the line. And it maxes up at eight cubes. So um, you can get kind of like it goes two, obviously, then four, then eight on the final turn. So it's really interesting this, like being able to kind of like essentially say, oh, I'm going to win. I want more of your cosmic cubes. Give them to me. And then you have to kind of like bet on yourself that they're not going to have something that just completely destroys your team or something. You can also retreat at any time to try and save your cosmic cubes. If you see this picture here, you can see like uh, it's on the round six and at the end of round six, then it's get double. But if you kind of think, oh no, I'm going to potentially lose, then you can retreat and save your cosmic cubes. So you don't lose as many. Uh, you'll still lose some obviously based on what it is, but you can see if they're going to be doubled or if you, if your opponent snapped or anything, which I think is really cool. It's kind of like, 
I, I like that kind of gambling on yourself. Like, am I going to win this? Or is my opponent trying to play mind games with me and make me think that they have something that's amazing when actually they don't really? It, it's really cool. I really like that idea. Funny thing is, there's also Gammon and Rogue at the game, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, as you guys know, Gammon and Rogue, but it's interesting kind of Rogue's ability here, steal an ongoing ability from a random enemy card at this location, which is cool. Like, being able to steal an enemy's ability is just, it's so Rogue. And then you've got Gammon here. Now, unfortunately, they didn't show what Gammon's ability was, but he's a one cost, uh, sorry, one power minion, it looks like. So, it'll be interesting to see what exactly he does. And I'm definitely going to be running an X-Men build uh, going through with like an X-Men team. Now the closed beta signups are open now, so make sure you go over to their website and sign up for that. I'm gonna be checking this out. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys if you're interested in me covering this uh, game, because I am incredibly excited about this. This looks like right up my alley in regards to, it's a quick, easy game, it's a mobile game, it's a, it's Marvel, obviously, it's got Gammon and Rogue, it's got everything that I've kind of been wanting from a mobile game and from a like a, uh, like a card game and stuff, so I'm pretty excited about it. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think. That's it for today. Have a great day and goodbye.